Good morning, and we have a slow countdown again this morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, and uh, welcome to the final Isn't It Time Facebook live show. I'm your host, Sally Tebow. Thank you for joining me this morning as you pop on. Say hi. Let me know if you can hear me on this very windy, wet um, Gold Coast Marathon weekend. Good morning, Deborah. Um, I was up early this morning watching the runners. The 10K races are today. I think there's another one taking place. Good morning, Elle. Um, another one taking place this morning. And um, it's uh, thousands of people here in, in, uh, in where I live. Um, I can see there's cars everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and music and and uh, fantastic absolutely fantastic so if you're on Instagram you'll have seen a story I did this morning watching those runners uh, run um, on this as I said cool wet windy morning Savannah welcome back uh, wet windy uh, weekend so um, we are this is our winter I guess <laughs> although I was talking to uh, the people who were organising the Vietnam trip yesterday and they're out of Tasmania and I said, oh, it's a cool, wet, windy weekend here on the Gold Coast and they went, yeah, right. <laughs> cool. Compared to what? <laughs> I said, well, it's 18 degrees and I've got my boots on. <laughs> we can really feel it. So how is everybody? Um, yes, yeah, so today, this is our last ever show. Uh, isn't it time Facebook Live? I'm going to go into that in just a minute. Um the decision why and 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 uh, and also sharing what's next because there's a what's next there's a what's next um so after last week's show it, i sort of did my own review last week so if you were on the show last week i talked about doing your yearly your half yearly review so the the 30th of june first of july great time to sit down and say okay here are my intentions i'd sit back uh, at the end of 2018, um, where am I? How am I on track? And of course, mine, I always do four, uh, four lots. So uh, physical, emotional, spiritual, and financial. So where am I on my goal trek? And one of my goals um, in 2019, for 2019, was actually to do 52 uh, Facebook Live shows, which I've loved and I've loved being with you guys every Saturday morning. But as you also know, and I've mentioned this many times uh, over the past few months, I'm actually writing a new book. And the new book is actually um, generating a whole new way of looking at things. So there's two aspects to the reason why this will be the last show. Um, one is um, uh, the actual um, book is kind of leading me into a different direction. Um, but the other thing is that um, it's just the framework, um, the the whole concept of a half hour show on a Saturday. I mean, we've covered some amazing topics over the last um, 18 months, you know, self-sabotage, the imposter syndrome, I was going back and having them last night, goal setting, visualization. Um, we've, we've worked on um, well, some of the other things we've done. We've done, we did that show a couple of weeks ago, which was great, was how to, to um, rechange your winter um, uh, routines. Um, we've done shows on um, meditation. We've done shows um, on all sorts of topics. Um, thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Yeah, and I've enjoyed it. I really, really loved it. But, you know, it's time for change. Um, the platform that we're on, Facebook, um, has changed. As you know, many of you are on Facebook. That's why you're here. Um, it's changed its platform. Um, and I'm not spending as much time on Facebook as I used to. Um, in fact, I have to remind myself to, <laughs> to get on Facebook. Um, I'm actually spending a lot more time on Instagram. Um, I like Instagram because it's um, a way to get information um, that doesn't take you so much down the rabbit hole. Facebook do you find that let me know like you get on Facebook and you go down the rabbit hole and click on this and clicking on that and it's just goes down this kind of rabbit hole um, so I'm spending more time on Instagram and also on LinkedIn and the last little while I've been doing kind of Instagram stories um, and Instagram TV so that's where I'm going to change the platform to uh, it's moving across to Instagram um, it doesn't mean I'm not going to be on Facebook because I can I can take the snippets of what I'm doing on Instagram and bring them across to Facebook. So rather than having a show, morning, Anne, 
uh, rather than having a long show, what I will be doing instead is being more regular on Instagram TV. Now, if you haven't, if you're not on Instagram or you are on Instagram and want to follow me, um, just send me, just click on, you know, follow and I'll follow you back. Um, other than that, the shows will come across onto Facebook. They won't be as live like this. In, in fact, it'll be um, more, it'll be smaller. So there'll be more kind of five minute, seven minute, uh, shows regularly during the week. Maybe at this stage, probably Mondays and Wednesdays. I'll, we'll see how we go if I take it any further than that. So, and from there, um, from that, those shows will actually form the basis of a podcast. So they'll come off uh, Instagram TV into Facebook a little bit. And then uh, my intention is to create a podcast with just this, just seven to 10 minute segments little ones, you know, little kind of hints and tips and um, and strategies that you can implement. So that's part of where we're going uh, now. Um, we're, we're instead of the kind of big, long half hour show, it will be smaller um, excerpts, little teasers that will happen uh, during the week. And I said, I'm going to kind of experiment with that. You'll still see me and you may have seen in the last uh, couple of weeks, um, smaller videos that I've been doing quite regularly. So that's where that's heading. Um, the name is changing. Um, the book name um, has has uh, created a new kind of look um, and the name kind of came this week. Um, and so that, that name change has meant a change as well to the way that the show is produced. Um, the other thing that we're doing um, is we'll be having a, uh, a an event coming up. It'll be a kind of a a little bit of a teaser. It won't be as deep as the Reclaim Your Body events. It'll actually be uh, a little bit more um, like a taste tester, I guess. Um, and that will be coming up soon. I'll be letting you know about that. So um, let me know if you have any questions and we kind of make this a, a, a show today of, you know, any questions you want to ask me about um, anything. You can ask me about anything about EFT or about um, intuitive eating or you can ask me about setting visions or goals or whatever it is. You can make this quite interactive today. Anything that's kind of hanging with you. One of the things I did want to mention, um, this book that I'm writing um, is about the concept of intuitive eating. Morning, Donna, the concept of intuitive eating. Um, and it's my view of intuitive eating. It's my journey. It's m my story, um, which goes against some of the other people who are in this area. Um, and so that the, the reason the book is, I think, uh, timely at the moment is because um, intuitive eating is not just a thing you do. It's a, it's a style of living it's a, and, and it flows over into other aspects of your life. Um, and it's, you know, kind of toying around with the words, but intuitive eating and it's intuitive living at the same time that, that when we release um, the focus on our body, when we release the focus on our um, weight and instead step, step into the intuitive, the, the wisdom of our body, we, in particularly as women, it's our superpower. And, and that superpower um, is hindered when we think it's about weight. When we, when we shift our wisdom, our intuition, our power over to um, handing over to somebody else we think knows better. So the book is the journey. The book is that journey. I began this process in 1983. <laughs> We're 1983. I know, it's so sad, isn't it? Like so last century, as my children say, so last century. Um, and so this, this journey of intuitive eating is not something that's, um, that's a, you know, an idea that popped in my head. It's actually been a journey. And that's what I want to share with you in, in a very open and honest way about the challenges I've had um, with, you know, coming to terms with my uh, uh, um, natural body shape, coming to terms with the who I am. And for me, that was the moment I made the decision, really, 
to stop dieting and stop focusing on my body was the moment my life changed. And um, as I say in the book, and I've mentioned on Facebook Live here numerous times, there are three places in your life where, um, uh, where if, if you're not in attuned and in alignment with the world, if you're not focused uh, or, or you've got issues that are not yet dealt with, they'll show up in three areas, your body, your relationship, or your bank account, those three areas. So if one of those, two of those, or all three of those aren't working, it means that you need to come step back and do a, a rethink about this because it, that's where you're going to learn your greatest wisdom in those areas. You're going to learn your greatest wisdom or access your greatest wisdom or learn your greatest stories in those areas that aren't working in your life. For me, the number one, the first one happened to be my body. And the minute I started down that track, and because of my in, in my career, that's what I was doing. I was a fitness instructor and, you know, stand up in front of, you know, how many people a day? 30 people in a class times four, what was that 120 people a day? Stand up in a pair of leot and G-string leotards. Boy, did I ever not get smacked in the face about what my beliefs were about myself. Um, and that was where I needed to learn my most valuable lesson. Some people it's relationships, some people it's a bank account. Um, but, that, but that's the journey. All right, let's have a look at some of the. Thank you, Deborah. Well done. Go away. Telling your truth. Yeah, look, you know, I guess you get to an age, Deb, and I, and I think many of us on the call are at kind of that, you know, that age where telling our truth is, is comes from wisdom and experience. Uh, it's not something I've learned out of a book, although I've learned, you know, lots from books. But I haven't gone to university to learn this. This, this, I learned this by being in the trenches. I learned this by, you know, teaching, teaching class to thousands, teaching fitness to thousands of people in a, in a leotard and having to deal with my issues with my body. And, and that went across into my self-worth and that went across into my value and that went across into who I am and the imposter syndrome and all that stuff. So those that were for me was where my greatest lesson came from was to deal with the issues with my body. So it, you know, that that's exactly where it is. It's exactly where it is. Absolutely. You know, I think it's time we all told our truth, really, because I think, no, no I think I know everyone on this call has a story and everyone on this call um, needs to share that. Great. Trish, last century wisdom. <laughs> oh, thank you, Trish. Thank you. It was lovely to tune into you on Saturday. Thank you. Yeah, last century wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear oh dear we were out last night with some friends and we were telling stories and and um you, you know with these people and 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 um i was telling a story blah, blah 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 about something i'd done and and this the the people were out the girl leaned across and said oh that's what you, my mum told tell stories like that <laughs> oh you know i forget <laughs> yes Three places you need to be aware, body, relationship, banking. Thank you for doing that, Deb. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's three places. Look at them. If something's not working in that area, that's where your greatest lesson is. That's where you'll find your greatest. Um, thank you, Nikki. Love your intuitive eating model. Really helpful to me. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, so um, I, I'll share with you, um, and I'll be talking about this a little bit, what I came up with the other day, and I'm still kind of working on it yet. Um, is that you know there's the, when when you move into intuitive eating it's like it's like you um, let go of all um, expectations of the way it's supposed to be intuitive eating is unlearning the rules you've grown up with okay so it's unlearning everything you whether things good for you or bad for you or fattening or not fattening or counting macros or counting calories it, that all goes right out the window with intuitive eating um, and you just learn to trust in your body and your wisdom. Um, I've actually put on my website this week um, a new video um, uh, um, about intuitive eating and how to do it, and, and particularly the, the, um, the video is um, uh, uh, overcoming the fear of intuitive eating because it's fearful. It's, it can be really scary. Um, so it's it's about um, if you hop on 
to the website. It's the website there, um, and um, you can download it. It's just you know just it's a pop up. So um, if if that's what you're looking for to move into that intuitive eating, and you kind of want to know a little bit more about it, and you want to learn tapping with it, I'm just gonna put that here. Um, you can do that. So yeah, it's a journey, um, and so when we were coming up with when I was doing my review last weekend, I thought, you know what, this is time to kind of step into now this new phase of my life. While I still work with clients um, for success and I still work with clients um, uh, for, to um, release limitations and all that stuff, this, the emphasis now will switch somewhat to be doing this work. Um, what I realised when I was doing this book was that this was my life. This is where I began my journey. This is how I started. This is how I began this process all those years ago, this. Um, and it's like coming home again. You know, it's like coming home. Um, and, and it's really kind of, it feels good. Oh, you're welcome, Trish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's there. So... Um, the book will actually be launched. We're looking now, I was speaking to the publisher yesterday, probably end October, um, um, maybe early part of November. We, I've just, I've just, um, what happened was I did the original uh, manuscript, went off for appraisal, came back, I read the appraisal and I thought, you know what, I'm not telling my story as much as I should. I'm not going deep enough. And, um, and so in a rush, we were going to try and have it out by October beginning October and I just said you know what I'm going to rewrite this now what's really interesting is I did I've done this with all the uh, my other books too I did exactly the same thing I wrote original draft and then sent it off for people to have a look at and then it came back I'm going to rewrite the whole thing I don't know why I thought this was going to be different but anyway I thought it was so the book um it, October November and so you'll be looking at for um things uh, in the next little while um I think I'm covering everything uh, the if you if you're not if you are on Instagram we're not following each other please follow me on Instagram um, we'll I'll be do regular Instagram TV um, oh thanks Trish yeah my zone of genius you know and I, I know everyone on this call will be the same as me you know when you're in your zone of genius when you can just stand and talk about what your you know to be true without without having to think am I am I saying it right am I doing it right um, it won't play oh. okay thanks Donna let me I'll have to go back and look at that I don't know why that's okay I don't know why that's not working okay thank you for that I'll I'll fix that and then I'll po post, post uh, see what's going on with it, it was working yesterday um, who knows? Thank you. I will have a look at that. Um, yeah. So um, you know, when you're in that zone of genius, and you just know you can speak on any on, on it, and you and you just know in your heart that that's what you know to be true. I know a number of people on this call are exactly the same. You move into that zone of genius. You just know you know, and and it's like when I'm when I'm talking about this topic, and I'm seeing a lot of young people talk about this, and not saying they don't know what they're talking about but there's a shared there's a wisdom that comes from living with it there's a wisdom that comes from being in it you know what I mean like there's a wisdom that comes when you've lived it not you've just read it not you've just shared it with clients and came up with it there's a wisdom that comes when you live it and I think that is where this is heading for me um, now at this stage and, and every book that I've written has been exactly the same. It's always been shared um, um, what I've lived. I don't write books um, on things I don't know about <laughs> or I haven't experienced myself. I should say that. Um, you know, David's gift um, was that. David's gift was very much my life, our lives. And, um, and I think that's why the book still sells quite well because um, that what we went through is, is that what many other people um, whose children are living with autism and that's what they're experiencing. So that's what the book will be about. Um, the book will be my my story, 
um, it will be the the thing about what I'm doing with my life, uh, you know, what, what I'm doing with clients now, how I'm helping them get through this. Um, and it's very, very much a hands on. This is what you do. Um, uh, simple as you can um, and the journey that comes with it. All righty. Um, so let me know if you've got any questions, any questions about anything before we finish, whether that's EFT, whether that's intuitive eating, as I said, whether that's visualization, journaling, meditation, whatever it is. If you've got a question, just pop it in um, and, and I'll endeavor to answer that as best I can. Um, and uh, just let me know what you think, what you're feeling. Is that, are, are you, you know, where are you on your journey at this moment in time? Where are you? Are you feeling where you um, you are, are at? What's going on in your world? Just let me know. And uh, and as I said, there's a bit of a delay here, which is a pain in the neck because you might be typing and it might take about two minutes for that pop up for me. Um, fantastic. All right, we'll just look, check, check, checking, 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 checking. All right, well, I've looked at everything. Yeah, thank you, Deb, for saying that again. So three places where you need to be aware, body, relationship, bank account. It'll show up really big time for there. Oh, nice, Savannah. Mm -hmm. Have you got a book in you, Savannah? I, everybody, I think, has a book in us, don't you think? Everybody has a book. We all have a story, you know. And um, and I know myself when I'm when I'm reading books, I really love people sharing their experiences. That's how I kind of get my ahas when I am um, reading somebody else's journey. I think it's really, really powerful. Really powerful. All right, let's do a tapping. Finish off um, on as soon as the link isn't working. Thanks, Donna. I'll go back and have a look at that today. Oh, anyway, um, let's do a tapping on on trusting your intuition, shall we? Um, to finish off with, um, I want you just on a scale of one to ten um, to to. Oh, thanks, Deborah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Scale of one to ten, uh, I want you to just um, think how. How much do I trust my intuition? The thing about intuition, of course, is that intuition exists in the feeling in the body, usually the same place as fear. They fit, they fit together. So sometimes um, we have a strong intuition, but it can be caught up in fear and doubt. And, um, and, and, and that's part of what the book does, helps you separate the two. But on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, if you've got something going on at the moment, Uh, let's look at this. Nikki, your path is unfollowing good and it's so inspiring. Thank you. I'm on an exciting journey. Yes, with my counseling practice opening in, in a week. Wow. Fantastic. Fantastic, Nikki. I hope that goes really well for you. I know it will. I know it does. I hope it goes well. I think everyone has a story. Mine, the journey of caring for my parents. Oh, Savannah, that's so good. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, it's a great story. Uh, boy. So many people are really struggling at the moment with that, um, yeah, having to care for their parents. It's a, that's a huge market, isn't it? It just it's a huge market. All right, let's do some tapping, shall we? Scale of one to ten, trusting my intuition is something that you need to listen to your intuition about at the moment, and it's fear around it. Um, just kind of drop into that. Think about something. Okay, here we go. Last one. Even though I know sometimes I struggle to trust my intuition. And right now, there is an issue that I need to resolve. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Even though I'm struggling to trust my intuition on this, there's some fear and doubt there. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Even though 
sometimes I forget to trust my intuition. And I slip into fear and doubt. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Here we go. Sometimes I struggle to trust my intuition. I can't figure out whether this is fear or intuition. I'm struggling sometimes to trust my intuition. It's a bit fearful. Sometimes I feel doubt. What about those times in the past where I've been wrong? I'm fearful that might happen again. Struggling to trust my intuition. What if I'm wrong? What if this is doubt? Sometimes I struggle to trust my intuition. Those times in the past when I've been wrong. This fear. This doubt. Sometimes I struggle to trust my intuition. Sometimes the fear and doubt takes over. Take a deep breath and let it go. All right. Let's check how that feels. We want to kind of get, you know, you want to move up that thing, you know, trust my little intuition a little bit more. I know I screwed up in the past or I made a mistake, but this time I'm really going to trust my intuition. Let's do a reframe round before we finish. Even though in the past I've struggled to separate fear from intuition, I choose now to trust in myself. Even though in the past, sometimes I haven't got it right, I choose now to trust in my wisdom. Even though I've struggled with my intuition in the past, there have been some times when I haven't got it right. I choose to honour my innate intuition and wisdom. There we go. I choose to honour my intuition. I choose to value my wisdom. I choose to honour and listen to my intuition. I choose to value my wisdom. I choose to honour my intuition. I choose to value my wisdom. I choose to value my wisdom. I choose to listen to my intuition. Take a deep breath and let it go. Okay. I wish you all well. Actually, I will see you. I'm just not going to see you every Saturday morning. Thank you, Pauline. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, we're all you know, wise, intuitive beings, aren't we? That's all. Do you know what? Boy, do we need wise, intuitive females <laughs> right now. Boy, I tell you. I'll let some of these people run in the countries. Countries just don't get it. <laughs> we need more women. Step up. Wise women. Us, wise women. Wise, intelligent beings. Um, thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Just remember always, if you, um, you're really struggling and you want to have a strategy session with me, just click on the link 
and uh, I'd love to spend some time with you, see if and how I can help you. I wish you all well. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for sharing um, the Saturday mornings with me over the last 18 months. I have loved it. Um, yes, wise intuitive females are here with absolutely, absolutely. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody, and I will see you on Instagram, Instagram TV, uh, in the next week or so, and I look forward to sharing with you when the book is launched. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. See you soon. Bye-bye.